Hey everybody, I'm back with another video for you. Uh, in this video, I'm gonna show you a really cool uh, banana and super banana clutch that I hatched. Um, I'm actually gonna show you the parents and the results, uh, the resulting babies that came out. So, first one I'm gonna show you here is an adult banana pastavi. I have her marked as a possible super pastel, but after seeing the clutch, um, I know that there's a banana in the clutch that did not have pastel in it. So that would mean that she must just be a pastel Mojave banana. She's a fairly small girl. She's probably not even quite 1500 grams, but she was old enough and feeding well. So I decided to breed her and she just laid this clutch um, on November 11th, 2020. So. Uh, kind of a late season, one of my later clutches of the season. So I bred her to this GHI banana yellow belly. I also had this one marked as a possible calico as well, although be extremely low white. Um, judging by the babies, I think this one actually may have calico in it. It's just a super, super low, I mean, it's basically a zero white, but I just thought with the pattern, when it was a baby, it was more prominent. You know, obviously the colors on these can change quite a bit, but um, yeah, I think I did prove it out to have calico. So this is the mother, this is the father. Still getting along great, I see. I don't think I'm gonna do the same pairing again. I've actually got a banana and she leopard female maker that I'm gonna breed to this girl this year. Okay, I'm gonna put him back. Okay, now we're gonna start taking a look at the babies. Here's the first one. That's a banana GHI, and I'm thinking probably yellow belly. Got a really strong pattern, bright, vivid colors. You know, yellow belly isn't just a, um, uh, well, it's a color enhancer as well. Of course, it can make, you know, ivories and super stripes and freeways and things like that, highways and things like that all that kind of stuff. So, but it, I use it partly, well, some of my projects with the yellow belly in it, I use just to enhance the color and kind of sharpen the pattern a little bit, really bring these flames out on the side really nicely. So I'm not gonna pretend to know exactly what all these babies are right now. I haven't really even looked at them a whole lot before today, so we'll have to see. So this one's pretty dark, a uh, really busy pattern. Here's pretty much the opposite. This one, well, I'm gonna take a wild guess at a lot of these, but um, I, I don't really know for sure what a lot of these are. You know, the problem is when you start mixing snakes with, you start mixing like a three gene snake to a four gene snake, it really gets difficult to figure out. And all I'm going for is something that looks really nice. I mean, when it comes down to it, the exact genetics sometimes aren't really all that important. It's more just producing a really pretty snake. It's always, of course, nice to know what genetics are in a snake, but you know, sometimes you just can't see all the genes that are in there. So I think that this is a super banana, um, GHI Mojave, and I would say probably pastel as well. Okay, then there's this one. This one I think is a pastel version of this, although this one might end up being a super banana version of this. Um, and actually that's kind of, now that I'm looking at it a little bit more, it's kind of what I'm leaning towards. Super bananas can sometimes be a little bit hard to tell, depending on what other genes are in there, it can sometimes be a little bit difficult to tell uh, a super from a regular uh, if there's other genes in there. Just a normal super banana and a normal regular banana are night and day different, so you can easily tell. 
and as they get older, these guys will be easy to, uh, you know, this will be easy to tell if it's got a, if it's a super or not. Supers don't get the black spotting that the regular bananas do. Um, and they're also much, much lighter in color. And you can see that this one is much lighter. And I don't know for sure right now if it's just pastel it's making that much lighter, but I'm thinking it's probably super banana and possibly pastel on top of it uh, that's making it a lot lighter. These guys are really squirmy today. I'm gonna put these two back. There's one that I think has calico in it. Well, I'm virtually positive it has calico in it. Um, I don't know if that one's a super banana or not either. It may just be pastel that's lightening it up so much because I got this one too, and this one's definitely a super banana. So this one I think is a super banana version of that, if I had to guess. The, the pinks in there are a little bit lighter than this one. Um, heads a little bit more washed out, just a lighter overall color. Both really, really pretty snakes though. And you know, it'll be interesting to see how these look after three or four months. Usually the colors will improve from hatchling to juvenile. So yeah, these are, um, I would say this is probably a pastel GHI calico. Could be yellow belly. I don't know. They're so washed out on the sides because of the calico, it's really hard to tell. A lot of times if a calico has yellow belly in it, it gets easier to tell as it gets older because the, the characteristics of the yellow belly that enhances color and brightens the contrast a bit will usually start coming through more. This guy's got some pretty cool sides on him too. Really washed out. But hopefully those colors will come in a little bit better as it gets older. All right, well, that's all I have for you today. I'm not really hatching a lot right now. I'll be definitely back again very soon with another video showing some more babies that hatched out. Um, it's, this is January, 2021 now. Uh, these are from 2020 clutches that hatched in 2021. So. Anyway, I've got a few more clutches to show you and a few more in incubating yet. So hopefully I'll have some pretty cool stuff to show you over the next uh, month or so. And I'll also continue to show some of my adult breeders here. I know a lot of you guys are requesting to see uh, videos with showing adults to see what these things look like as they get older. So I'll definitely try to hit on that a little bit over the, the off season uh, uh, for the next few months as well. And uh, so anyway, basically uh, check out my website, royalconstrictordesigns.com. Uh, we're actually in the process of building a new website. It should be a lot more user-friendly and just a lot more awesome overall. So uh, stay tuned for that. I'm not sure when that's coming yet, but we are working on it right now. And I'm also working on adding hundreds of new snakes to my current website for sale. So check it out, royalconstrictordesigns.com, and I will be back soon with another video for you.